So laser hair removal for a darker skin, I guess you're wondering, is it safe to do? My name is Caroline Hooper and I'm a certified laser specialist and I'm here today to help you as a customer to make an informed decision on whether it's safe for you to do laser hair removal on darker skin. So if you're new here, consider subscribing because I would put out videos every day, Monday to Friday, every single week at 6 p.m. And that's to help you understand the aesthetic industry and to educate you on what's out there in the aesthetic industry and to answer any questions that you might have. So laser hair removal for darker skin. Um, I guess you're very skeptical as to is, is it safe to treat your skin and is it, safe, is it possible to get rid of your hair? Because um, there's so many devices on the market to choose from and you're confused. And that's um, totally understandable. And I'm here today to help you understand the difference between these devices and what's safe and what's not safe. Um, so I don't mind who you go to, whether you come to me or whether you go to somebody else. It's just important that you know um, the right information so that you're not gonna come into any complications if you're going to undergo laser hair removal treatment. So firstly, I'm gonna start with explaining what different types of laser devices are available for laser hair removal and why you should or shouldn't use each of these devices and what their target is and what they're going to do um, when the heat is being absorbed into your skin if you were to choose each. Then that's gonna highlight what machine uh, is gonna safely treat darker skin. So, Three different lasers I'm gonna go through with you today. First one being IPL. So I say lasers, but IPL isn't a laser, but a lot of people get confused because anyone who uses an IPL for treating hair sell it as a laser. But IPL stands for Intense, intense Pulse Light and it should never be used to treat uh, hair on darker skins. In fact, it should be never used at all, even for skin treatments. First and foremost, IPL is not good for removing hair full stop. And secondly, it's not safe to put on dark skin. And the reason for this is because um, the way the light is emitted by an IPL device is it's a scattered light. So it's all absorbed superficially in your skin. So that means all the energy is being heating up the um, melanin content in your skin tissue, in your epidermis. It's not traveling anywhere near the pigment that's in your hair. So one, you're not gonna get a result, and two, the laser is not gonna have the ability to even get down as far as where your hair shaft is to even try and damage that hair because the melanin in the surface of your skin is gonna absorb it all and you're at very high risk for that to lead to a burn. The most ideal wavelength when we're targeting hair is to be around 750, 830 nanometers is where the pigment is most present in a hair shaft um, in order to get a successful and permanent result for laser hair removal. And when we're looking at IPL devices, they range from 510 nanometers up to 695 nanometers. So there alone, it already tells you it's not gonna be successful to permanently destroy the hair. Um, but most of the energy being absorbed superficially. So in your case, if you've got darker skin, don't let anybody go near you with an IPL machine. Second device uh, that we're gonna speak about would be a diode laser. And this is where we talk about actual lasers. So a diode laser is an actual laser and the nanometer on a diode laser is 810. So 810 nanometers is the most ideal depth to penetrate heat in order to target melanin in your hair. Now the one job that a laser needs help with is to identify what pigment it's targeting and that's where it comes into risk with um, darker skin because the laser hasn't got the ability to know if it's going to target the pigment in your skin or the pigment in your hair. But when it comes to a diode laser, a diode laser heats from the base of your epidermis up to the surface of the epidermis. So therefore the heat isn't absorbed superficially where the melanin for your skin color lies. So we're gonna safely bypass the color in your skin and target the color in your hair to get a safe and effective treatment. So a diode laser is the safest to treat anywhere from a skin type four, five, and six. 
Moving on to the third laser would be an alexandride laser. Now an alexandride laser is successful in removing hair but it's very high risk to treat dark skins and should only ever be used for a skin type 1, 2 and 3. If you're calling yourself darker skin you should be falling into a skin type 4, 5 or 6. So in this case an alexandride wouldn't be suitable for you because an alexandride heats from the surface downwards so a lot of its energy is going to absorb in the skin similar to an IPL machine would uh, therefore it's very high risk because that laser can't identify as any laser can't identify the difference between the pigment in your hair or the difference between the pigment in your skin and because the energy is being absorbed with an alexandride laser in the surface of your skin you're at very high risk for the skin to burn now the fourth device I want to talk about, which is the third example of a laser device, um, is an NDAG. So NDAGs would be more old school for treating laser hair removal before diode lasers or alexandrites came about. Um, and more so that the, the diode lasers that were on the market weren't advanced to the point that they could safely treat darker skins. So an NDAG would have been used in a lot of these cases going back uh, a long time ago. Or for people who have IPL devices and don't have diode or alexandride lasers but have got an NDAG, they would use an NDAG um, for darker skins to treat with laser hair removal. But it takes very long because it's an older device and it's not specifically used for treating hair, although it can safely treat hair, but not effectively. The reason why it doesn't treat hair effectively is because the wavelength of an in NDAG is 1064 nanometers. So it's gone past where the pigment lies at the base of your hair shaft. So although your pigment in your hair shaft is going to absorb some of the heat, it's not the main target for an NDAG. The NDAG's main target is for like them deeper red and blue vessels that lie underneath the skin that feed and um, supply your the blood to your skin which when you've got broken capillaries you can notice like these spider veins so in order to remove your spider veins we use an ND yak so that's its main target and shouldn't be used again for laser hair removal although of course you can go ahead and try it out you will get an effect but you're not going to get a permanent effect plus the the tip of the laser is so small compared to a diode laser or a traditional handpiece that uh, you could be more than two hours treating like a full leg and at the end of it you're not going to see an effective permanent result. So you're pretty much wasting your time with an NDAC, although it's safe. So to recap on all of that, IPL never to be used on dark skins anywhere from a skin type 4 up to a skin type 6. A diode laser being the 810 nanometer would be your best choice for treating hair with darker skins because it's not going to absorb heat superficially and it's going to target specifically where we need to go safely and effectively giving it a permanent result. Number three, Alexandroid. Not safe for skin type 4, 5 and 6 although there is a lot of clinics that try to treat a skin type 4. If you're a skin type 4, do not trust it. Take my word, I've seen so many scenarios where clients have tried treatment with, it, with a, an Alexandrite, which the most popular device would be known as a Candela. I have seen effects, side effects coming from the treatment, so please avoid doing that. And then the fourth example being an MD YAG, um, not very effective, yes it's safe to treat, but you're not gonna get a result and it takes very long to do. So diode laser being the best one, there is all different types of diode lasers on the market. The one that we chose to open is out to be tr safely treating all skin types from a skin type one up to a skin type six. We chose the um, Light Shear Duet. And the reason why we chose the Light Shear Duet as a diode laser or all diode lasers that were on the market was for the fact that it has a vacuum suction. And this is what's really gonna benefit you having darker skin and assuring yourself that you're going to have a safe treatment is the fact that it has vacuum assist technology built into the device so that means it pulls your hair follicle closer to the laser so that the laser energy um, is getting closer to the hair shaft so one you're getting a more successful treatment number two because we're pulling your hair like your hair shaft closer to the laser the intensity and the aggressiveness of the heat doesn't need to be 
as high as it would with other lasers or with other diode lasers. So again, we're not sending as much heat into the skin, so less heat is being absorbed superficially, so it's a much safer treatment. So I hope you've gotten value from this video for laser hair removal for dark skin. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you would like to see more videos, make sure to hit the bell for notifications. If you feel this video can help any friends or family members, uh, you might share it with them also. Thanks for watching and see you next time.